Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm be showing you something really fun, and that is how to create this text animation right here. So essentially, it's going to be this sort of fast-paced way of delivering text so that people can read it. It's kind of, it's kind of like a reverse way of doing it because people usually read top to bottom. This is going to be sort of bottom to top, and we're going to make this fully expandable, so you can like keep just going and going and going and going with these, and it should all look great. So let's go. Let's jump right into it. The first thing I did was I created a color mat. Uh, so file, new, and then color mat. And I just went with 13 fr or 30 frames per second. It makes the uh, the timing of everything a little easier when it's a, a rounded up to 30 instead of like 20.97. And then the width, 1920, height, 1080. I just chose a, a color. It can be any color you want. Let's go something like uh, dark blue again. Click OK. And then drag the color mat over. So we want to make ourselves a sequence with it. So there's going to be no sequence here. Just take your color mat, drag it on over, and it'll create a sequence for us. Now, I zoom in by grabbing this. So zoom it in so we can kind of see the entirety of the effect here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create our first text block. So let's go up to the text tool and click right here. Again, I'm working in the graphics tab right here. If any of this doesn't look familiar, go click on the graphics tab and then workspaces reset to saved layout and it should start looking familiar to you. I'm going to click up here and I'm going to type something like let's start today. Now, I'm going to move this text to right about the top left quadrant up here along the left side. And I want to make a large text. So the fill is white to offset the background. If you wanted to make a white background, then you want to like choose a color like black or a bright color um, to offset so the, that it looks good. The text, it can really be any text as long as it's sort of a bold, strong text. This looks a little, I don't know, it just looks a little wrong with text like this. So we want something bold. So I'm using Myriad Pro Bold Condensed. We then have the, um, the Align and Transform where we don't really need to mess with. And then up here is our text layer. So what we're going to do is we are going to take this and we're going to first animate it in and then animate it all the way down. Once we do that, we can then just copy and paste it, move a couple keyframes, and we have this effect indefinitely moving forward. So the first thing I want to do is click on the text. You can click on it up here to make it selected. Effect controls. Now, let's go look for the text here. We don't want to use the vector motion, so just drop that out. We don't want to move anything in that. That'll move the entire frame. It won't look good. We're then going to take the text we're going to go down into the transform part of it let's drop out the source text we don't want to control that so we don't need to look at it we just want uh, the transform we're going to take this little cross if you can see it right there it's a little hard to see but there's a cross right there if you can't see it just click on anchor point and it should come up we're just going to drag that up and try to get it as close as possible to this little dot here right there looks good now why are we doing this this is going to make the next animation way easier, and it's actually going to make it look good like how we want. So I'm going to take the uniform scale and undo that. This will give us control over the height, like so, and then also the scale width. And again, we need to make sure that we don't grab the video motion either. There's a lot of motion that you can grab over here, the graphics layer, the entire layer. What we want is specifically the text layer here. And so let's uncheck that one. And now you can see we have the ability to go up and down through here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to gra drag it down to zero, animate it, and move forward 15 frames. Then we're going to bring it back to 100%. And we have the basics of the effect in. Now, it looks a little linear. It looks a little, you know, uh, it doesn't have any pizzazz to it. So we're going to right click on the last keyframe and go down into easy in. And that's going to give us a little bit more pizzazz. But we're gonna, then going to drop this keyframe down, this thing over here. And I'm going to zoom this in. You can grab this little bar to zoom it in a little bit. And it's real simple. Go down to the velocity. See this little thing here? Just drag it to the left a little bit. doesn't really matter how much you drag it. Just try to keep it straight and drag it to the left. And now we have a really poppy, professional look to it. It slides in quick, and then it slows itself right down. Now what we need to do is we need to begin animating it. So 15 seconds to come in, or 15 frames, my bad, 15 frames. Now we're going to move forward 15 frames again. I'm holding the shift key while I'm clicking right here. That's what's making it go by five each time. If you just don't hold the shift key, it's only by ones. So we started, we went 15. Let's go 15 more. And now we're going to begin the animation down. So we're going to take the position, the opacity, and we're going to take both of these, move forward 15. Everything's by 15s. It makes everything easier when you have an interval that everything works with. It also makes it sort of flow in with a beat and everything. 
We're going to then take it and move it down right about center here. And then we're going to take its opacity and bring it down to like 25%. Now, before we start on the next ones, we need to create like a master copy. So we need to keep this one going. So the next one, as this one moves down, the next one is going to come in. So that means that this is the beginning of the next one. And then it's going to wait 15 and then begin moving. So let's make sure we have our time right. So we have the animation, the wait, the move. The next one is going to start here, overlapping. So it's going to animate in. It's going to wait for 15 and then begin moving here. So that means that at two seconds now, we should begin moving this one again. So I'm going to click on the position. Go one, two, three, 15. Drag it on down. And then do that exact same sequencing again. So as this one moves down, this is where the next one's going to begin, right here. So one, two, three. It's going to then sit there and wait so people can read it. One, two, three. And then it's going to begin animation again. Now here's the important part. I'm going to click the keyframe to drop another keyframe. And we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to drag it off. Now, why is this important? Well, we have just created a complete movement, meaning we can now copy and paste and pretty much make this an indefinite effect. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on Let's Start Today, right click on it, copy, right click, paste. Top up here is where that new one is. We're going to grab the top one, so don't touch the bottom. Grab the top, drop that down. And now all we're going to do is this. Let's find the position where this starts moving, which should be at one second. Yep, right there at one second. And we're just going to grab all of the effects here and just move them up by one second. Move it forward. Now you can see we have the animation started. And we can say, let's start today. Let's just double click on this to redo the text. Let's start today with... Oh, some coffee sure coffee is good and then to keep the effect going we copy and paste again right click copy right click paste grab this top one go to where the movement begins which is actually right here it looks like yep right there uh should be at a second marker two seconds and then just drag these all forward and a nice uh, pastry. That sounds good. And then now what I'm trying to get across here is that even though this is taking a little bit of time, this is how easy it is now to just keep expanding it. We can keep this going. This could be a, a 30 second clip of just a whole bunch of text. And so now this one's going to move forward. So let's move to the point where it moves forward, which should be at three seconds. Grab this top one. Drag it on over. And you see the bottom one moves off. Redo this text and some exercise. And so now what we have is this. Let's start today with some coffee and a nice pastry and some exercise. And it can keep going indefinitely. You just copy, paste, move, copy, paste, move, copy, paste, move. Make a thousand of these. That's what's really, really fun and really powerful about this effect. Now, last thing. This is pretty much the effect. If that was what you're looking for, you're done. But what if we wanted to use this in future videos and we didn't want to have to recreate it every time pretty easy to do first thing we need to do is we need to delete the color mat off because we can't save that so if we delete the color mat we're going to go into our graphics layer our edit so let's click on the graphics layer right click on this bottom part or not right click my bad click the little new leaf over here for new layer and we want a rectangle now you can see our rectangle is already filled to a certain color we can recreate that other color make it a little darker Somewhere around, I don't know, maybe it was here. It doesn't really matter. Just make it the color you want. Go to the top left. Just sort of drag it out. It doesn't really matter if you really make it in the lines or not. That doesn't matter at all. Just sort of get it so that it fills the background. And then just take it over here, drag it to the bottom. Now that we've created this, it's all a single layer. And because it's all a single layer, we have the ability to export it as a motion graphics template. So if we go up to graphics... Make sure you're selecting it currently. So you need to be have the cursor and have it lit up like that. Go to Export as Motion Graphics Template. And then we're just going to name this Indefinite Text Reveal. And save it to your local templates folder. Or if you want to save it like online, save it to one of your libraries online. That's a pretty good thing. So you can use it from all your computers. Click OK. Exports. 
Now we're going to go over to the Browse button and just type in uh, indefinite, right like so. And here it is. So we can delete this. All of our work is gone. Well, no, we just drag and drop it back in and it's all back. We can change the text. If we wanted to expand it, we just copy and paste it like normal. And it'll be that one off time. So like, let's say we expand this to a thousand, then we export our video out and we start a new project. Well, we just go find it again, drag it in. It starts with four and we can work our way up from there. Really, really simple to do. And now you have this great, uh, I guess, tool in your toolkit. Thanks everyone for joining me. I have created a course on Premiere Pro if you guys would like to check that out. It is a really awesome start to finish and it's sort of taught exactly how I teach this YouTube channel just in a more cohesive way, a more start to finish way. So you start off basically with really basic effects and throughout the course you use the stuff you learned in the beginning of the course to build on the course overall to build on your skills overall, but the entire time you're making effects. So it's, not, it's none of this like read the book and learn about things. It's these one-off things that are uh, really awesome that each tutorial you'll learn something that you can actually use in the field, but it's gonna be slowly teaching you Premiere Pro. That sounds like something you're interested in. Check out the link in the description below. I'm really excited about the course. That's what I've been doing for a few months. And um, yeah, so check that out. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to make videos on a consistent basis. Um, I'm definitely going to start again because I have finished the Premiere Pro course. But anyway, thanks everyone for joining me. And until next time, see ya.